so you want to know about my day. I look like I've been crying because I have been. They're being mean to me again, telling me I have to shut up. I'm not shutting up for nobody. Not completely, unless you want me dead. This place suck, man. There's nothing to do. It's hot. This place is nice where I'm sitting lying though now. Why is it when I say I'm sitting somewhere but I'm actually lying? Not lying like I'm lying, telling a fib like I'm lying down. Because it's just for a moment in time, it's just like being. But when you're actually sitting, you're sitting, you know, you're sitting down on your bottom. But I'm still on my bottom, but I'm on my tailbone. But my tailbone hurt a bit. My tailbone hurt because it like stick out. I think that's normal because we're like, you know, monkey evolutions. I had a big cry because, like, today, I just, like, I just want to, like, get out. But, like, I don't normally cry, like, all the time. I do cry. I am an emotional person. I have always been sensitive and emotional. But, like, I can't, like, cry, like, in the lounge room of my home right now. So, I'm crying in the lounge room of the house of East Wing. And they're, like, totally, like, they're just like getting like all fussy and saying, oh, what's wrong? And then two nurses, apprentice come to me, say, how can we help you? And I bum them off. I say, well, you're not an actual nurse. Don't worry about it. And then they actually send a nurse. So like they stir up. They like they try and test you like to see how you're going to react to their like their confrontations or their like the in your face stuff you know or they're supposed to help I don't know what could they do why can't they just accept someone wants to cry if someone wants to have help and they're like cutting themselves or hitting themselves on the wall or hitting things on the wall then address it but if they just want to be on their own cry if if you see me like when I cry do I like ever like uh, like exacerbate it like like go like uh like do more to get angry about the problem maybe i do it's natural people do that and they were like thinking to themselves yeah maybe she may we can ki kill the problem like at the horse's mouth like straight away but like i just wanted to cry and do i have to explain myself and then they get like so disheartened and so insecure and then they want to like ah oh, have a panic attack themselves and little paranoia delusions. Oh, she's starting to get a little fussy. She's like getting demanding and talking out loud and stuff. So basically, oh, she's having a little moment. Yeah, I'm having a temper tantrum. I'm allowed to. But don't have to drug me for that. It's not like I'm banging around. So what if I'm swearing and talking at the TV? Because I'm bored. You don't give me anything to do. So I have to become the entertainment. I'm the party favorite. I've got to make everybody look at themselves like this is a joke house. It is a fucking joke house. There's nothing to do. We're getting, people are paying for us to live here to do nothing but just sit around like zombies. And then feed you and herd you out when they say, okay, you're well enough. You can go now. We've had enough of you. It's a joke. Anyway, I seem to be paying for everybody to be here anyway because I'm the entertainer. I'm the well-known one who, who, like, entertains everybody all the time because, basically, I'm the party starter. I'm bloody freaking... What's that? Group party prodigy. I'm the prodigy. Like, fire starter. Maybe I am. So what? So what if I'm a fire starter? I'm bored. It's hot and I want friction, man. Because there's nothing to do. 
They're not organizing anything. They're just sitting on their asses writing whatever they're writing and thinking to themselves, oh, this one's stirred a bit. This one's twitched this side of the face on the other side of the asymmetrical. That's right. It's not symmetrical. That's right. I remember. I have to be an asshole because seriously, I want to get them back. They were trying to drug me with some fucking drug because they want a quiet time and ring their boyfriend, girlfriend, sister, mother, father, brother and say, what are we having for dinner? Have you done my jobs? Have you done the washing? And that's another thing. I did my washing today, right? I like, I did, like, every time I use the laundry, people who ever come in here who use it are pig fat, filthy fat, fat whores who just slop the bloody fucking powder, excuse my French, but I can't say any more derogative or bloody, more bloody um, direct any other way because it's so disgusting because I did it twice in the past two weeks. It was filthy. Like the meat, you know where you're supposed to put the, uh, the spinner thing inside the machine? You know where you put the powder and the... Um, and uh, shut up, gross. Everybody masticates on thought. Um, basically, I'm paranoid and you're paranoid too. And you're making me uncomfortable because basically there's no stickers on my mind. Shut up. But well, basically, if you're putting like uh, powder in the middle and there's no catchment, but it's just like the top of it, you get built out, right? So, like, put it around. Put it neatly around. They just go... Clunk. And they had a whole bloody tub of bloody laundry detergent, but they put the whole fucking thing in. It's already used up. You don't need to use that much powder. It's not, you don't, you don't need to use clumps and cups of fucking powder. You just sprinkle, sprinkle the actual machine and the motion and the versatility of your of your luck luxuries of having like a machine instead of doing it on the rocks of fucking uh sri lanka in the riverbed basically you can like you know like totally what are you looking at don't look at me you're freaking me out man I, it's like scary i'm so younger than you and you're like totally an old man go away stop going in my room it's weird. Anyway, so... So basically, like, um... What was I talking about? See? People, like, trying to be in film. You can't... You can't talk to my... My memo. It's my memo. You're not allowed. Go make your own memo. Or go do your own storyboard. It's not my problem you don't have an imagination and you're depressed. Anyway, so, like, totally, like, they were dumping the powder in the middle. And it got all clogged up. They were spreading it all over the top of the fucking machine. It made me so angry. And, like, I'm like, is that how you make love to, to your partner? Like, you just sprawl yourself, you sprawl spread your big fat ass everywhere and spray your shit everywhere like you gotta be a finesse delicate eater when it comes to doing stuff but sometimes i pig fat but i still have style like i take a big waffle mouth but i don't have it spurling all over my top and my face and like picking my nose and coughing it up and vomiting at the table or letting my cheeks release like there are some reasons why people really like emphasize on that shit because basically people are gross people are animals and like if you're going to like totally like you know make love like an animal because why that's the only way you know how to do it or that's the way you are now because you're so depressed or is it because um you just don't give a stuff. You just want to get off. Well, just masturbate then, if that's the case. And then maybe you get over that feeling. And then when you do something like you're washing, you do it properly. 
Like maybe some people haven't been taught how to do it. Maybe their parents did it for them. Maybe their mother, sisters, brothers do it for them and they never learn how to wash their knickers in a bucket in the shower or something. I mean, it's so easy. All you need to do is pig fat on some ice cream. Go get some Peter's ice cream, right? Eat it all right now. If you want. Or you can wait. Or you can transpose it in another container. Or you can make a whole heap of milkshakes for the whole street. I don't give a shit. Or sundaes or corns or something. I don't know. Or spiders. It is a hot day. But basically, what you need to do is get a container. A small little container. It doesn't have to be big of ice cream. You can get a 1 liter, 5 liter, whatever. 10 liter, 20 liter. All you need is an ice cream container. All right, not a Chinese takeaway one. It's too small, not deep enough. The depth is not deep enough, and you can't put much in it. But you can use that for something, many things. But get a little ice cream container, and then uh, just your bar of soap or your body wash or your shampoo and conditioner, and just squirt a little bit in the bucket, and then put some water, and then put some toothpaste, I know it's got bicarb soda in it, so it will make it nice and shiny, deodorized, and smell good. And, like, it will, like, also, like, uh, like, brighten it. Okay, now put your nicaronis in it as you're washing and your brasé, and just scrub, scrub, scrub. Just do it gently, because they're delicate. And your soap, socks, you can get, like, a bar of soap. Just say, Mom, I want to use soap. She said, Mom, I want, I want the cheapest soap you can get. doesn't matter. I'm going to use it. And then she said, why do you want soap for? Mom, I've been swearing my mouth is so bad. I need to clean it. And she would laugh and she would go, okay, I'll clean it. I'll buy you the cheapest five pack of soap. Put it in your bedroom, in your drawer. And then you use it to clean your socks, your knickers. And just soak them. Leave them in there. Leave him in there until you finish your shower. Leave him in the shower recess. Right? Right. Now, what you need to do now for you teenage boys and girls, just rinse him and hang him on an inside line. Don't hang him out for the scary perverts. Or if you live on your own or you got like just some people, you can hang him in the bathroom. You can go to like these Asian shops. They got these little circle hanging things. And you can just hang it on the edge of the shower recess. And it's got pegs. And you can use it outside if you've got a hook or on the clothesline. And you just hang it and you just put it there and you can hang it. Or you can just hang it on the tops and it will dry. Or just hang it outside in the sun. It will sanitize in the sun. Don't worry. But just don't hang your bras and nice sneakers outside because they will like, they will burn and they will fray and they will get yucky. Or you can just put them in the dry on delicates. But basically, don't put them on like full stream heat because the, the bones and the, uh, and the wires will come out. So basically I did my washing and then like at the end of it they can say when are you done get out of here we're closing it up and that's all I can do there's nothing else I can do I started washing yesterday some other people's clothes that were left in there I don't know whose they were but I still I'll be nice I'll wash them for you and then I'll dry them fold them and put them like out in the like common area so everybody can pick and choose their own clothes and then also like they can like uh, if they don't have clothes and nobody claims them they can have them if they fit because some people don't even have underwear in here and they're wearing gowns and they're like sick and they're old and they're like you know they like need attention and like basically if if these like bloody assistant bloody nurses these apprentice nurses want to do some extra training just use your heads girls and boys just go make a plan think how can i make a change 
to the medical history or system. How can I make change? How can I do a difference? If someone you know needs sneakers, go ask some head nurse or management and say, do we have any secondhand underwear or clothes that we can give this poor person who hasn't got clothes? Why do we have to have him in a gown or her in a gown shitting everywhere because they're fucking sick? Like, clean up your shit. Like, get it done. You know? That's why you're there. You learn on the job. It's like an apprenticeship. It's like hairdressing. You got to take your initiative. You got to take your incentives and just use your best. Otherwise, why am I writing a story for you people? Why am I here? You tell me why I'm here. You want to have a job. You want to have a career, but you don't want to do the work. You just want to read a book and get signed the dotted line of the exam paper and say, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, you got a GHD now. I've got, a, I've got training. I, I've had experience just taking blood pressure and asking, are you all right? Why are you crying? You know, they don't even help people when they need to get their food who are like disabled and old. They don't help them take their food to the table and help them eat or cut it up. You know, what's wrong with that? That's where you start. And that's many fields do that as a job full time, like elderly care and disabled care. They have to look after them. So nursing is a whole round. You don't just stay in mental health and just do that. No wonder why mental health is so shit. Because nobody like does the whole thing. They don't do the whole training. I'm not asking you to give birth to a calf right now and say, okay, I want to be a bloody pediatrician. But what I want you to do is to try and like, you know, do something. Do something for yourself. You're just sitting around reading your textbooks when you can read that at home. And are you doing the notes of the bloody nursing staff? Why are they getting you to do that? Because they got other uh, jobs and bloody demands they got to do in their leisurely life. If you're at work, you're at work. Do your jobs. So anyway, so I cleaned the whole laundry like last week. I scrubbed it out, found ways to get soaps and stuff to clean it out. And then they told me, don't do it anymore because I'm supposed to do something else. Why? Because I'm supposed to help the universe learn how to do their job and I get paid for it? I get paid for, in a sloppy, full fat, diet type, fucking thickening, fat thickening meal? Fuck off. That's not fucking pleasure. Is it like I'm in the can and I'm making number plates for the fucking luxury man? For his big Bugatti or fucking Ferrari or Lamborghini. But I'm in the mental health fucking system. It's sad. And some nurses, they get jealous, man. Some people, they get jealous. They're like, oh, why is she doing that? I don't need it to be that way. I'm used to the old way where it works shit. Stupid shallow motors. You done your time in the laundry. You don't need to do any more. Anyway, that's how it is. It made me laugh. It made me sick. But this is basically patients in a bloody think tank. Mental health places are always going to be like that. But they were always started as a criminal fucking um, mental jail. King Henry the Third, I think it was, or something. One of them, King Henry the Eighth, or one of them, the one who may have or may have not chopped his wives' heads off. Somehow, I think they all do in a way. Basically, they were motherfucking. Uh,
Shut up. You're German. You know what it's like this way. <laughs> Scusi, I farted. I had to. I had a little rocky bit in my, my uh, lower back. Now I feel flatter. I have pumped up with gas. Stop poking me in the foot, you shalamuta. Anyway, so I cleaned it again and then someone brought their, their belongings in and I helped him with that. And then she told me, take it out of there. You don't let to fold it in the laundry. It's a laundry mat. Why can't you fold your clothes in the laundry? It makes sense. You wash them, you dry them. You use the stuff, you clean up after yourself. And it would be nice if people like saw what I did and thought to themselves, I'm gonna keep this as appearances. I'm gonna, instead of just closing the door, I'm gonna give people the opportunity to give it a go and, and do their washing and clean up after themselves and take the initiative to find the things that I left behind for them to go, okay, I may use this spoon or this little cup to do this, to pick out the lint from this and scrape this and do that because I left some shit behind. I'm gonna contribute. You know, it's all about contribution. And I know most people are mentally fracked in the head in here, but they got drug, they got support. They gotta have trust in themselves instilled. People gotta entrust like stuff. And if they can't trust me to help people out, well, what's the point of the whole scheme idea that I created that I'm gonna make a contribution in any shape or form to help the system? What I just help for a time? Or do I want to help for a long time? Or why am I always in the system? Why am I always locked up if I'm not here for the long time to make a difference? Or does my appearances who I am and how I've become and why I'm locked up have no relevance or no fucking reason at all other than just to annoy everybody for the reasons to say, hey, we got another one. And hey, we got another one off the street. No, that's not the point. The point is mental health aren't always criminal and shouldn't be seen the same as a jail or a prison. It's not the same. Yeah, we're locked up, we're medicated, but we're not in bars. We're not fighting for a bloody toaster and a loaf of bread and looking for cockroaches in our food like they do in fucking prison. So, motherfucker, why the fuck are they motherfucking treating us like less than even them? I ask you, what's the point? You want to make a change, make a change. If you hear someone's advice, don't take into accord that, oh shit, she brought us up on something I'm embarrassed and now I'm going to stuff her with more drug to shut her up and then reap the rewards, but it never stick. That's why it never stick. You do bad things to people, come and come back. You rape from people or you rip people off, you come and come back and the whole system, you may fucking win your dollar. You may win your fucking million dollar ticket to the Charlie Chocolate Factory, but basically the karma is everybody suffers in the end, so fuck you. Anyway, I'm going now because I'm swearing even more because I'm angry. Because they made me talk to bloody, like, do something. And I don't, I didn't want to talk. I didn't want to really advertise. I didn't want to be in this frame of mind. But basically, we need entertainment. We need some amusements. We need some stimulation. Otherwise, we're just drones, drugged the uh, fuck up, walking around the place, looking at each other, thinking, what the hell can we do now? How can we stir up some shit? Because basically, I need to get injected more, is it? Or I need to pop another pill. Anyway, sign here. Ciao, vida se hasta mañana. Till we meet again. Maybe most people just don't say anything and lash out when they do. And that's why the system always fails. Maybe you need people like me to smarten it up. And then when I'm gone, maybe there will be a difference. Ha, ha, ha. Ciao, vida se hasta mañana. Till we meet again. Bye.